Go to, we'll continue at the Breeders' Cup, then the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies with the absolute ridiculousness of a three-horse field. One, and a, one mile and a half a furlong group, one for two-year-old fillies, and there's just three of them. I think we need to change the minimum ratings next year, don't we? Oh, it's just going to get the ridiculousness of only just one or two next year. So anyway, we've got three in it, and let's get on with the day's racing. Hope it gets better from than this. As the day goes on, Angel of Death for Leon Van Rensburg has gone off into the lead. Note for Paul Rhodes, who I think he's probably his only runner of the meeting. Uh, House of Trapanga for Darren Thompson. There you are, three runners. Yep, that's it, three runners in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies. Note in the lead. Angel of Death second, Trapanaga, House of Trapanga, sorry, is in third. Only three horses in a race, and I can still manage to get one of the names wrong. So Note is in front, leading by a bet. Three to four lengths to Angel of Death in second. House of Trapanga is in third. And even if you come last in this, you're going to pick up a chunk of change, which is another good reason why the championship should not be decided on prize money. And a note is in the lead. Angel of Death is in second. House of Trapanga is in third. If it was going to be decided on prize money, it should only be decided on win prize money, but even that would be ridiculous because in the UK Championship, the Breeders' Cup races do not count. So, you can't have it both ways. Notes in the lead, then being pressed down by Angel of Death. House of Trapanga is a mile away back in third, but he's now starting to close as Angel of Death goes into the lead. Note is in second. House of Trapanga is running on third. Paul Rhodes may be disappointed that he's not had too many runners this season, but this is keeping his record of a place in every Breeders' Cup so far. And House of Trapanga, who was tailed off, sweeps past the rest of them and wins it. Completely facile race, really. And House of Trapanga wins it. Looking tailed off, coming into the straight. I'm sure there were plenty of other horses that could have made that. A pretty decent race. There you go. Look at the House of Trapanga. Darren Thompson rated 120. Angel of Death, Leon Van Rensburg rated 80. And note, Paul Rhodes rated 61. So maybe it's not a race that's got um, a, a minimum rating. And maybe it's just a, a case that we've got too many races for these horses. And everybody's thinking, well, there's no way I'm going to beat that 120. So I'm not going in it. Pointless. 